This is DDW-TV here at Digestive Disease Week in San Diego, California. Clinicians uh, all across the country and around the world, about 11,000 in person and virtually. Thank you for joining us here at DDW-TV and thanks to Emily Perito who's coming by. She's an AASLD session speaker. We're talking about careers, uh, careers in uh, pediatric hepatology. So give us some thoughts if you would. What's it like, uh, walk us through a day. Yeah. Um... It's almost impossible to walk you through a day because I think one of the things I like most about my job is that it's different every day. When I'm on service in the hospital, we round in the neonatal nursery on two week olds, and then we go to the inpatient floor and the ICU and the outpatient clinic and see everything all the way up to 21 year olds. Uh, when I'm not on service in the hospital, I'm seeing a similar breadth of patients in clinic and then doing clinical research. So what, what would you say is the most rewarding part of this uh day that changes on a regular yeah, basis. I think the most rewarding part is there's a few things. One is just learning every day because yeah. we have an opportunity to do so many different things in clinical care and in research and a lot of like training and mentoring to residents and fellows and other folks as well. But certainly the interactions with families and being able to follow those families through sometimes what's really critical illness or liver transplant or liver failure um, towards where their kids are healthy and back at school and running around doing all the things you would want your kids to be doing, that definitely is a gratifying experience. As a layperson, I have to ask, it must be very different and occasionally difficult because you're talking to the parents and the family members because the patients often are not able to communicate what even yeah. their symptoms are, let yeah. alone uh, being able to tell you how they feel, what kind of pain they're in. You can just kind of have to guess at some of those things. but. Uh, how do you work that as a professional and how do you explain to someone else in hepatology, hey, pediatrics, is this for me, this is how it could be for you? Yeah, um, I think it's a real, it's something you practice over time, you know, engaging uh, with kids of different ages and then really engaging with their parents. Um, and you need to do both sort of either sequentially or, or in parallel. It's one of the really fun parts about our job that we're dealing with parents who just, you know, love their kids so much and would do anything for them. But we need them to be on the same page about making decisions for those kids in medical care. And we also need to respect the family's priorities and figure out a plan of care that works for those families. And then getting to engage with the kids, which is just as fun, maybe more fun um, on their level and figure, trying to figure out how are they feeling? What do they understand about this? What can we do to help them, you know, be healthier and happier in their lives? Well, what are you telling trainees uh, about, you know, where they are in their careers now and why they need to progress in this direction? Yeah, I think um, it's a really exciting place to be because there's just such a breadth of what you can do. Um, and in clinic, we see, a, you know, less sick patients, patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, with autoimmune hepatitis, with diseases that are almost always managed as an outpatient. Um, but in the hospital, we see really intense, critically ill kids with things like acute liver failure or who have just gone through liver transplant. So I think that it makes the career really dynamic and exciting. There's also a really nice collaborative community of both clinical care folks and researchers in pediatric hepatology. And so, because everything that we deal with is pretty rare diseases, um, having a real community of folks, many of whom are here and in other places, to work with on this is really rewarding and exciting. I learn a lot from them too. So let's say I'm still in school or I'm just beginning my career. What um, suggestions would you have to essentially dip their toe into this direction of getting on onto the pediatric hepatology side. Yeah, yeah, it's not something you might wander into necessarily. <laughs> you have to look for it a little bit. But I think for the medical trainees, finding clinical experiences where you're doing that, either on the inpatient or outpatient side, is a good way to do it. Um, there are a number of organizations um, organized around pediatric liver disease and liver transplant, including ASLD, um, there's a Society for Pediatric Liver Transplant, um, and more recently a Starzl Network for Excellence in Pediatric Transplantation. So we have websites, we have conferences, and places where you can really start to learn about what is it that we do, what are the challenges in the field, um, and where do we think we're going with this. And internship possibilities as well? Yes, definitely. Um, to do what I do, you do a pediatrics residency, then a pediatric gastroenterology fellowship, and then usually an additional year of training in pediatric liver disease. Wonderful. Emily Perito, thank you so much for coming by and sharing with us. Thanks for having me. And this is DDW-TV. If you'd like to learn more about us, you know where to check. It's right at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for joining us.